Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by UpshiftStore.co.uk, DigitalMotorsports.com, Pineapple Grips and CD Keys. So this is race two from Nürburgring Nordschleife over there in Germany. Magnificent race one for some anyway. So this is race two, second of the 30 minutes. This is the grid then, going into that, it's reverse grid. So we've got Ginger in pole position, Thomas in second, hoping to do a little bit better in this one. This is Thomas, Molson third, Chand fourth, Rodders fifth, Chuck sixth, Jerry seventh, Jay Dyson in eighth, Unforgiven ninth, Paul in tenth, and winner of race, race one, Wadru in eleventh. Everyone with the uh, the racing super softs all the way through, as I said, no stops, a little bit of fuel saving, I think, and uh, that's it. Let's get this second and final race up and running. As you can see, lights are. Well, the light, lights are on. The sunlight is gone in a little bit. So just to make things a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit darker. Ginger then, away we go, is taking them away. In first place. Thomas in second, with Molson right behind him in third place. gone off from Ginger and he's gone off a little bit there so he's lost a couple of spots to Ginger just ran a little bit wide and again that's going to allow Chan through so Chan's got through to third so remember these are the GT3 cars now so it's added into the mix more power different handling to the GR4s so all of a sudden the whole track is a different proposition altogether Oh, look at his battle up here. Molson runs wide, did he? Oh, he didn't. I thought he did. But Thomas takes up the lead anyway. Chan's run a bit wide. Is that on the grass? Oh, no. He just gathered it up. That's all right. So, Ginger, though, just trying to stick with him in fourth place. And then we've got Rodders in fifth. Jerry sixth. Chan wants it in his style. Jerry, Ginger, sorry, is off on the grass again. He's going to lose a spot to Rodders. Comes back on. Jerry sort of hits him. Oh, it's a little bit messy back there when he's slides out there's ginger oh and he's right at the back and that's unfortunate for ginger back at the front then got thomas molson so yeah that was a little bit of a tag back there but uh, so the ginger not sure really what happened there he's free though they know what's happening and they know they're in with a the fight they're in the right battle here so these three just creeping away from rodders in fourth place now there's a little gap there and we've got jerry being hounded by dyson in sixth place and then chuck with a penalty for chuck in seventh so a penalty for a chuck being picked up early doors here in race two wadru has got himself up to eighth from the back with paul in ninth and unforgiven in tenth So Wadru, oh, and Chad's gone off, oh, and he's going to lose it, and who's that, he's followed him out there, I think it's Unforgiven as well, so they both went off at the same spot, I think Unforgiven just followed Chuck's line, and it wasn't quite the right line, was it, so them two, at the back then, Unforgiven still in 10th, Chuck drops back down to 9th, Paul's got through to 8th, so he's trying to follow Wadru, who's on the back of Dyson now, I think he's dropped back down to 6th, has he, or is he in 6th? I think he was in 6th anyway, but he's dropped back into the clutches of Wadru. Chuck still with that penalty, and I think Ginger has retired from the race. After that hit, he's gone into the garage, tow truck's come and got him away, got him off the track, and who's that sliding? Oh, I think that was Dyson sliding it around there, the squeal of the tyres. A little battle here, Wadru all over the back of Dyson, trying to get past him now maybe an opportunity in this next sector not here got to go around this tight right hander first i think oh no this is the section sorry i'm a bit behind here so no that's fine what drew's going to get him along the straight surely with that mclaren looks quick doesn't it but even along the straight see how difficult it is to pass runs a little bit wide dyson ahead of them got jerry who got a bit squiggly but look at his battle this is a great battle here look at this Top five, absolutely on it. And now Dyson on the back of them as well, and Wadru. So, front seven, 
and Molson's taken up the lead from Thomas as well. And Chan's fighting for it. Chan's got there, and what a battle up the top here. I don't know where to look here. It's a bit more like it, isn't it? Race one was quite settled and a bit stable from everybody. Wasn't really that much going on, but this one looks like we're going to have some great racing. Chan then takes up the lead now. And he really fancies it here in race two. Does Chan. These boys are not conserving any fuel at the moment, are they? They don't fancy doing that at the moment. Chan, what he fancies is winning this race. And if he can keep it clean, every job, every opportunity to do that. Bit of smoke back now, or is that just the fog? I think that's just a mist, isn't it? Coming through, I thought someone had locked their tyres, but that's just a mist down there in the dips. What a racetrack, what a venue. Thomas third, having a better race this time round, isn't he, Thomas? Rodders right up behind him too, and Jerry almost pushing Rodders along. Look at this for a battle, this is great stuff. Now if they can all get to that back straight like this, it's gonna be slip, Slipstream Galore. Slipstream City, here we come. Everyone, right away back to Paul in eighth, who in this train of cars. Sorry, that's unforgiven. Sorry, in eighth. Paul is gone all the way back to ninth, so he's had a, a problem then, hasn't he? Yeah, he's gone back to ninth behind unforgiven, so he's obviously had an off somewhere, Paul. But he's still on the back of this lot. So, if you can get the back there, Chuck in tenth, so Chuck's. Having the best race this one, he must have, he's some way back, so he must have had a bit of an issue somewhere too. And Sue's gone off there, that's Jerry. Jerry's gone off, he's gonna go all the way back to this, back of this pack, and he has in the ninth place. That's unfortunate from Jerry, but look at them trainer cars, what a magnificent sight up here. Let's go back to the leader, and we can have a proper look at this train here. Look at this, Chan, Molson, second, Thomas, and then fourth is Rodders. Wadru, fifth, Dyson, Wadru going to have a look at Rodders now, he's got him, he does, so Wadru through the fourth then, who's any more moves, Rodders in the fifth, Dyson, and look at this, look at this lot coming down here, this is going to be lethal coming through here, he can't go side by side, Paul on the grass a little bit, oh, and he, oh, wow, keeps that well on the track, considering, runs a bit wide, but, gets himself to seventh, so got past Unforgiven then, but that was very scary through there. Three cars beside each other coming through that fast sector at the end of the uh, lap. Unbelievable. Seven minutes through into this race now and all action. I love it. Now. What can these guys do? It's very, very difficult being in a pack like this when everything's going on around you, unforgiven. And he had a bit of a moment, gets to drop back down the ninth thing, goes off the grass, Jerry gets past him. So unforgiven with a little, little moment now. Let's just go back and see Chuck, but he's a long way back. Had a major issue somewhere did Chuck, so yeah, it's bad luck for him. Not liking it around here at all, I don't think, tonight is Chuck. Let's go back to this battle though. Can't take your eyes off this one. So Jerry now attacking Paul for seventh place. And he's going to get him surely down here. Dyson having a look at Rodders, and I think he might have got him too. As he, he did, goes around the outside. Dyson, what a move from Dyson. So up to fifth place. Rodders back to sixth. No, Jerry didn't get Paul, so Paul still in seventh. But what a move from Dyson around the outside of Rodders. And then just ahead of them, you've got Wadru now attacking Thomas. Look at this, pushing him, literally pushing him along through here, don't want to push through there though, otherwise you'll be both off, it's not pushing through that bit, so Wadru then, started in 11th position, already into 4th, after 2 laps, actually got 6 laps in this race, being that the cars are quicker than the GR4s, in race 1, so an extra lap added, for this 30 minutes 
second race. But Wadru putting the pressure onto Thomas. Then Molson in second place. And Chan's. Well, he's got quite a nice little gap, isn't he, Chan? There he is. Molson's keeping with him, though. So fair play to Molson. But back to the little battle is Wadru. Still trying to get past Thomas. But. At least Thomas is keeping it on the track at the moment. Keeping Wadru behind him, but as I say, not easy to pass anywhere on here. Now, another opportunity along here now for Wadru. Gets a good exit out of there, does Wadru. He's going to be up the inside, and I think he's got it already, Wadru. Yeah, he does. So he got a good exit out of that right hand up. Got a lot more power on past Thomas. Easy in the end, really. And Thomas goes off wide. Oh, I guess, well, yeah, a bit too much through there. He's going to lose a spot to Rodders as well. So he's ordered back down to sixth now. Rodders gets through as well as Dyson. So Thomas just pushing a bit hard there to try and keep with that battle with Wadru, but didn't quite work for him. Seventh place for Unforgiven. And then Paul and Jerry still at it in eighth and ninth. Jerry all over the back of Paul in that Lexus. Can't get past him yet. Paul kind of keeping a little bit central in the track there to the centre just to try and cut off any possible pass from Jerry. He's not blocking, but he just moves the car over a little bit. Oh, Jerry, a little bit wide there. Didn't get our best of turns at the right hand out as they come up to the carousel. Now, always a tricky section this oh Paul gets it a little bit out of control does he lose a spot he doesn't so almost Jerry thought that was the moment Paul just got himself up on the curb took the front of the car around again lucky not to lose it completely lost some time on the unforgiving in front of him though didn't he so he's going to have to try and put that again gain that back up again Chuck, meanwhile, give him a bit of air time here. Still in 10th place, but he's just sort of seeing this one out already. And, oh, and he's off again, his Chuck. I think he's settled for 10th already, as Chuck. Sorry, mate, but yeah. It's going to be a lonely race for him now, down there in 10th place. All he can hope for is a big pile up in front of him. He can just uh, scoot past them all, but yeah, at the moment. Just doing it out, really, isn't he? Not quite got the grits with it. Let's have a look at that battle up the top and see how Chan, seeing if he's under pressure from Molson. No, not at all. Look at Chan pulling away now, doing a wadro here, isn't he? Absolutely flying. In that Aston Martin. Looking good as well. As we're, what, 12 minutes through, so almost halfway through the race now. can keep it like this all the way I'm going to stick my neck out there and say he's got this one wrapped up Molson going to be an attack by Wadru and that's not what you want to see is it Wadru gets through to second place so Wadru well maybe I'll take them words back he's on the attack isn't he Wadru and he's if anything looks like he might be gaining on Chand as we come to the end of lap two so, almost halfway through the race in terms of laps and in terms of time, really. And Wadru then is on the move, big time. So, Pan Chand, hold off Wadru. Come back to them in a minute shortly. Molson now, third place. It's good for Molson at the moment in third. That'd be a good result if he can stay there. Oh, Thomas has come into the pits, so I'm not sure what that's about. So Thomas, he couldn't have used all his fuel by now. I'm not sure what he's doing as he, he can't be changing tyres because they all start over a super soft, so I really don't know what that's about with Thomas. Maybe he's retired, maybe he had an issue. So Thomas might well have gone from this race as well. 
Like Ginger, we could be down to nine, sorry, ten cars. Oh no, Thomas is there. It's back out of the pits, so don't know what that was about. Oh, and Chuck's behind him now, so Chuck uh, can see ninth place, can Chuck, so may not be a complete disaster for him after all. I don't know what that was about though with Thomas, but uh, let's go back to that. Third place with Molson, no, looking comfortable there. Dyson, fourth place. And then this battle for Rodders in fifth, unforgiving. Chasing him down now in sixth place. Quick through there, it's unforgiving. Made a lot of time on Rodders there, but can you get the car stopped? He can. Well, unforgiving then. Looking for that fifth place. If you can take it off of Rodders. So we're, the light's going, the mist is coming in, the fog is here, the body's aching, the brain's aching. Apart from that, all fun and games out there for these boys. And I'm forgiving them having a look on the outside. You don't want to be on the outside down here though. It's sure you're not going to go around the outside there. And no, I didn't think he would. He would have been out with the spectators out there on the right hand side if he'd carried on around there but he's really on the back of Rodders Paul still in seventh Jerry in eighth but unforgiven then not gonna let Rodders go is he and he'll just stay behind him I'm sure until they reach the next sort of straightish section which uh, isn't far off now around that difficult left hand and right hand S is there through this little kink and then through this left hand that don't run wide here that's a penalty for sure you get yourself up on that concrete section in the runoff area it's not even a runoff is it really well it is but you get penalized for it if you go up on it too far I did it so I know Paul's there I'm trying to actually Paul looks like he's gaining on these two doesn't it but I'm gonna stick with him because I'm forgiven this could be his opportunity along here, this next bit. Come round this right hand up and then hard on the gas and away we go. Now, is he going to be. Yeah, he's on him. Now it's all about Rodders. Can he defend? Can he keep Unforgiven behind him? Well, Unforgiven's going to go up the side of him. Rodders still there though. Is he still there? I think Rodders in fifth. Unforgiven. No, he's still behind him. Oh my goodness, mate. A mistake by either of these, and it could wipe both of them out. But actually, good racing by them two through there. And where these two are battling, it looks like Paul is catching them slightly in seventh. So, still behind him, unforgiven. Didn't get it done. So, sticks where he is. Paul, as I say, not far behind him now, going through to the carousel and see if they can get unforgiven with the wider line. Goes up high and then drops down low. I'm sure it sounds like a song, isn't it? Up high, drop down low, I'm not sure anyway. Pulled in seventh, Jerry, eighth. So just getting isolated now in eighth place is Jerry Chuck. Did get past Thomas then, so Chuck into ninth place. So did make a spot up there. And then Thomas, well, he's coasting. He's got his hazard lights on. And is he, be, is he retiring? This could be a disaster this round tonight for Thomas. And I think he must have a mechanical issue of some kind because he's certainly not going flat out and his lights are on. And I think he could be going into the garage. He's got a long way to go before he gets to the garage, actually, but he's certainly coasting around there now. So let's go back to the top and just see how Wadru's getting on as he catching Chan. Chan's still there in first. So doing well at the moment is Chan. Never a nice sight seeing Wadru in your rear, rear view mirror, but doing well at the moment is Chan. Oh, slides it through there. That's fine though. Looked like he was going to lose it, but I think it was just, might have just 
hit the curve a little bit. Doing his best to really try and get away from Wadru because the last thing he wants is Wadru to be right up his jacksey going on to the start and finish. And that's not going to help him. That's going to slow him down and he's going to be right on him coming along this back straight now. If he can get into the slip, Wadru, I think it's goodbye from him because the Corvette is going to be quicker than that Aston Martin. And he is in it now, so let's just see what happens by the time they get to the end of this straight. I mean, the Aston Martin's not slow, but with the big muscle car behind him, you would have thought. And actually, I was expecting more from the Corvette. Slip's just about coming into effect now, but it's a bit late now. Wave to the cameraman in the gantry. And actually, the Aston Martin is quicker than what I thought along now. Thought the Corvette might have had the legs running through there, but the fact is, Chand is still in first place. So 20 minutes into this race now, into that final 10 minutes, just about to start lap four. So still got three magnificent laps to go round here. Oh, slides it round turn one, does Chand. Fuel, not less than half a tank of fuel as Chand. So, he might have to start thinking about his fuel consumption with three laps to go. Let's have a look at Wadru's. Well, he's got a little bit more, but he's still below halfway. But he has got slightly more than what Chan's got at the moment in time. Molson, oh, and right as I come to him, he loses it big style. So he's dropping down the order, seventh, all the way back to seventh. So unlucky for Molson. He was doing well there in third place. Lost it at that point, just come to him, come to him, didn't I? And it was off track, pointing in the wrong direction. So he's hit the grass somewhere. So that means Dyson's go to third place then. And actually, he's got about half a tank, so he's got the most fuel at the moment out of the top three. And Paul's got two through to fourth, so he's got through on Rodders and Unforgiven. So was that along the straight? I think it might have been, you know. Paul with just over halfway of petrol, so he's, uh, he's okay for fuel at the moment. Rodders with half a tank too, and then Unforgiven, which is under half a tank, but yeah, I didn't see that. But Paul's got through to fourth place. I can only imagine it was along that start finish, maybe. Maybe got the double slip from both of them. Molson, seventh as we see him getting back up to speed after that off. Jerry in eighth place. So Jerry, normally in with the battles, isn't he? But for whatever reason, not quite with it here in race two. Had a good race one, but I know he likes to be in the, the thick of it and runs wide there. Fortunately, you've got some hard ground there that, that's grippy and not grass. Otherwise, he could have been backwards against the fence, but Jerry Dean in eighth place, Chuck in ninth still. And we know Thomas, well, he didn't come in, did he? So, not too sure. Looks like he's, well, maybe, I don't know. Tenth place anyway from, for Thomas. Wadru. He has got past Chand, so we have got a new leader, and it's Wadru. Thought it was only a moment, a matter of time, really. Chand won't give up, of course, but it's all about maybe Chand starting to fuel save a little bit. Maybe that's why Wadru got through. Had I had the camera on them, we would have seen, wouldn't we? But I didn't. Wadru taking up the lead. Chand then. Well, he's, yeah, maybe he probably is fuel saving because his fuel hasn't gone down that much since we last came to him. So maybe he's just changed the mix a little bit in that fuel. Maybe he's thinking, well, you know what? I'll settle for second. Maybe. What am I talking about? Racing drivers don't think that, do they? No, he's looking for the win. Of course he is. But second to do nicely. Nice in third place. He's actually been caught a little bit by the looks of it by Paul. 
So Paul's on the charge. We've got Unforgiven and Rodders behind them still battling it out. But Paul, as he looks to be hunting down Dyson in third place, can he get himself on the podium, Paul? That's the question at the moment. Got oh, steady through here. It's a little bit easy after his almost his little off that he had. A lap back. But that's better through there. But he can't ease off because Unforgiven's got away from Rodders. So Unforgiven to fifth place. And we know that Unforgiven pushes hard. So now Paul really needs to try and clear Dyson if he can, because he's going to be under huge pressure from Unforgiven if he doesn't. But at the moment, obviously, not in a position to do anything about Dyson. Unforgiven's there. He is getting closer and closer to the back of Paul now, so we might have a little battle for third, fourth or fifth place through the mist. They go. Unforgiven, though, it looks like he's got the groove on. And here he is, right at the back of Paul now, so maybe Paul might lose and lose fourth place here if he's not careful. He really needs to get past Dyson, give himself someone between him and Unforgiven. But that's easier said than done around here. Flat through there, absolutely fly through there, they do the cars. Take a bit of grass there. No problem. Oh, and that was good. Good through there, those guys. Now, here we go. Let's stick with this little battle for now because we're coming up to... Oh, that was a bit wide and high. Unforgiven's got Paul, I think. He has. Unforgiven then. Paul just went a little bit too high up there on the mini carousel. Nearly lost it. Opened the door for Unforgiven. He got through. So now, can he get that place back? Can he get to the back of Unforgiven? Get into the slip? Well, I'm going to stick with it and see. Of course, Unforgiven's looking for the slip of Dyson, which he's got. In fact, I think, if anything, he's going to be getting third place off him, and he does. So Unforgiven gets through past Dyson, but now Paul's picked up Dyson's slip as well, and now he's got a bit of the Unforgiven's, and he's got to through the fourth, Dyson back to fifth. And here we go again with these two down here. Oh, steady boys. Oh, that's quick through there. That's good driving actually from them guys through there. Absolutely full whack. And Chan's come in, Chan's come into the pit. So was that fuel saving? Did he not have enough? I don't think he did, you know. So Chan's through, so he's lost that second place then. So Wadru is clearing off in front now. Unforgiven's taken up second place with Paul third. Dyson fourth. And now Dyson looks like he wants third place off of Paul. So Chand. Maybe he just pushed too hard at the start of the race. Unforgiven's mucked up and he's made a mistake. It's going to allow Paul through. He, did, he gets there, so Paul's through. Second place, Unforgiven ran wide. And now Dyson attacking Unforgiven. So a little mistake from him. Loses his spot to Paul. But yeah, I think Chan perhaps pushed a bit too hard at the start of that race. Thought he might be okay with the fuel and clearly he wasn't. Comes back out though, seventh place. So he's got to try and do that again. But this battle between Paul and Unforgiven rages on and Unforgiven's got Paul again. So. Oh no, he didn't know that was how it was, wasn't it? Sorry. So, look at this battle. They're still absolutely on it, these guys. Paul's attacking Unforgiven. He's looking every which way. Can he get past? Not through there, you can't. And certainly not through this next bit, up the top of the hill. Through this little ridge, over the top. Oh, knocks the car sideways. Very easy to lose it there. Good through there, really, considering. Be slow, Paul. Just took a little bit too much curb there, I think. Jay Dyson on the back of him now. So, fifth lap out of sixth now. 
One more lap to go after this, obviously. And it's what they can do to the end. The Wadru, we know, is out in front. And this is the second, third or fourth place, boys. Rodders just dropped back off of them in fifth place. But another good little showing from Rodders here. If he can get a fifth place or better, that's pretty good evening's work from him. No pressure from behind from anyone. Molson in sixth is the next one up behind him. Here he is, but he's being hounded by Chan, who's come out, who's gone in, obviously, fueled up a little bit. He's got a bit of damage as Molson at the front of his car. That's going to hinder the, the pace. That's fine now. But Chan pushing Molson now. All steady out there, Chan. That's penalty, penalty territory out there. That's okay. So even though, as a track, it's not the easiest to pass on, what action we've had here tonight, unbelievable from the Ultimate Racing League. These boys certainly know how to put on a good show. I've said it before and I'll say it again the ultimate racing league is the place to be and Chan looking at Molson along here gets him yeah along the yeah gets himself in the sixth place does Chan went past Molson like he was standing still runs a bit wide though Chan so Molson I'll be looking to get that back but I think Chan's on it now after that stop yeah this is the, as I say ultimate racing league you've got to check us out on our social media platforms if you want to get involved then please visit us it's all about the taking part it's not about winning well it is about winning but you know what I mean. It's all really a good group. It's all just about having some fun with your friends and racing. What we love to do. So I'm playing then sixth place. He's got away from Molson now in seventh. Oh, and he's just a bit too hot around now. And again, the fault spin by Molson and across the track and where's Jerry now is he Jerry going to be on him maybe not don't know where he is in conjunction with no he's quite a way back I think so Molson fortunately had some time behind him there but lost the time hell of a lot of time in front of him too so he's isolated there in seventh place now so Jerry as I said back in eighth place been a quiet race this race too for Jerry which is unlike him Chuck in ninth again just sort of poodle along didn't he there yeah. didn't start well for him he's going to spot on Thomas who we know is uh, not in this race anymore but off again goes again does Chuck Remember, double points, so still be picking up some, some fairly good points here. But it's just not... You want to be in the heat of the battle, really, don't you? Let's be honest. So Chuck in ninth place. Let's go back to our leader and see what's happening. Well, I'll tell you what's happening. He's coming round the final bend now to start the, the sixth and final race lap I should say and uh, Wadru then Unforgiven is actually gained on him so now Wadru is he slowing down well, he's not got a lot of fuel so I reckon Wadru is starting to fuel save big time so we could actually have a battle on to the end for the lead and for the win Unforgiven 
but hasn't got a lot of fuel itself to be fair so they're both going to be looking to see what they can do with conserving that fuel now into this fi final lap they've only just started it so they've got the full well seven minutes pretty much to to go will the fuel last that long that's the question Paul meanwhile he's got plenty of fuel he's not got to worry about fuel saving here it can go flat to the end so is this opportunity is it for Paul if the others have got to slow down a little bit to, to save the fuel can Paul get himself into the top two he knows what's happening and he'll know that they're starting to fuel save so he's got a little bit of an incentive to go for here there's Paul and he knows that his fuel will be fine and he's got plenty to see him to the end so we'll pick that up a bit later on but third place for Paul then Dyson still in fourth again been pretty isolated there as Dyson Rodders fifth place catching Dyson by the looks of it a little bit Chan who's catching Rodders so Chan after going into pits is doing well and get himself back up to sixth place he's going to pitch he's going to lose a hell of a lot of time not so much in the pits but just through the size of this track and the length of it if you're sitting still in a pit stop you're uh, losing valuable seconds possibly minutes when you're sitting in there a chan note is on the case to try and get onto the back of rodders who is still trying to chase down dyson cars are obviously going to be feeling a little bit different now as well with the the levels of fuel that are in the the tank now are going to be just making it slightly different a little bit lighter so it's going to handle a bit differently so just another consideration to take into account for the boys Molson again I think he just wants this one done and dusted we're on their final lap now so not long now Molson and Jerry no change there Jerry in 8th place Chuck in ninth. Thomas we know coasting at the back in 10th he's going to come in in 10th that'll be where he's going to finish Let's see if Wadru's gaining on Wadru uh, Unforgiven's gaining on Wadru well not really but this is where look, the fuel tank and the fuel light is on in the car for Unforgiven so that's flashing now and Wadru's will be too so they're both on their minimum amount of fuel left in the car Paul, third place, he's got no problems with his fuel, not flashing, still got plenty there. And he's certainly catching an unforgiven. And I think he could well get that second place off of him. He's not going to give it to him, obviously, unforgiven, but his fuel levels are getting even, even lower. Gonna have to just start to coast around some of these bends and not give it the full beans around there. Roll it off where we can. Change gear. Short shift. So change gear a lot quicker. Always helps as well. Audrey, yeah, it's exactly the same. The fuel levels. Not much in it at all, and pretty much identical from where they both stand at the moment. Unforgiven maybe with a slightly less just a smidgen. So Paul then. They're coming now to the final section of this magnificent venue, magnificent track. I 
I think his only opportunity, if he can gain on him along here, might be on the straight, if he can get close enough and get himself into that slip. It's the only opportunity he's going to have now, because we are on the final part now, and it's only the, really the straight that's left. So let's have a look. I mean, he's not close enough now. There he is there, but maybe not. Maybe he won't get there. Maybe he will be settling for third place. And to be honest, the boys up top have done well to keep their fuel where they've been, considering they had pretty much a full lap to go. And I think they could well do it, you know. Paul's doing his best there in the background to catch him. But we'll go to their leader, who literally will be running on fumes in a minute. But you've got to say, He's done that to perfection, like the Unforgiven, in second. So, Wadru then, ran his final couple of bends. Race two winner, two out of two tonight. Well done. So, Wadru, position one. Unforgiven. Oh, and he's... Oh, Paul's had a look, and that was... Well, yeah, he's trying when he Paul, but... Unforgiven gets there, just ahead of Paul, so Unforgiven second, Paul third, Paul went for it, didn't he? See a little gap, but wasn't really there in all honesty, so yeah, just uh, Unforgiven gets the second then, Chan with a good fourth actually in the end, get by, past Dyson and Rodders, so fourth place for Chan, that's a good result for him considering, well done, Dyson in fifth place, Rodders sixth, another good finish from Rodders, Molson coming in in seventh, So, uh, seventh place for Molson. Jerry in eighth. Still coming along that back straight. That's the gap. So he's going to be getting eighth place for Jerry. across the line now and then Chuck ran in it off in ninth place we know that Thomas is 10th place so 10th for Thomas that's for race two at the Nordisch Life catch me again for the next round soon and I'll see you then thanks for watching